In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at using Bootstrap in your Angular 4 project. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a brand new project using the Angular CLI. And then we're going to go ahead and pull it up in our IDE, in this case IntelliJ, or you could be using WebStorm or Visual Studio Code or whatever your favorite IDE is. From there, we're going to run a command that's going to allow us to pull down Bootstrap and we're going to see how we, what we need to do in our Angular project to kind of pull those uh, CSS files in. So it's real easy to do, and we should be able to do this in just a couple of minutes, so let's jump to it. The first thing I'm going to do here in my Angular folder is create a new project. So I'm going to say ng new using the Angular CLI here, and we're going to create a new project called Hello Bootstrap. And this is going to go ahead and create our project for us. Okay, now that our project was successfully created, I'm going to go ahead and open it up in IntelliJ. So we're going to say open, I'm in the dev angular folder under hello bootstrap, and we'll just go ahead and click open. And here's our project. Uh, if, you're, you, if you're used to using the angular CLI, this should look pretty familiar to you. If not, uh, don't worry, this is kind of our skeleton, our starting structure that we will begin with. And so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and pull down Bootstrap. And so to do so, I'm going to open up a terminal here. And this opens up this terminal inside of our project. So you can see that we're in Hello Bootstrap. And all I'm going to do is say npm install bootstrap dash dash, whoop, dash, dash save. And we'll go ahead and run that. And this is going to use Node Package Manager to run out and install Bootstrap for us. And as soon as this is installed, we will basically have it in our Node Modules folder, which we'll look at. But then we need to do one more step just to bring it into our Angular application. Okay, so now that Bootstrap's installed, if we run up to the Node Modules folder and we scroll down, you should see Bootstrap in here. And this is going to be important. We need to understand this folder structure here. We have a dist for distribution and a CSS folder. And then we have a bootstrap.css and we also have a bootstrap.min.css. So let's go uh, back up into our application. And to be able to use this in our app, we need to do one more thing here. We're going to go into the Angular CLI.json uh, file. And here we have this styles declaration uh, array here. And all we want to do is go ahead and add a new style to it. So we're going to just um, go ahead and give it the path to our bootstrap. So from here, we're going to go back up one folder. We're going to go under node modules. Remember, there was a um, bootstrap folder. There was a distribution folder. And then under that, there was CSS and there was a bootstrap.css. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to save that off. And what we're going to do is go ahead and run our server. So I'm going to say ng serve. OK, so we're here in our app, and we have the standard app works. Um, we do have Bootstrap installed, but we're not actually using it yet. Uh, so let's take a look at using it real quick, and then we'll just verify that it was installed. So I'm going to go into my app. And in my app component.html, I'm just going to get rid of this. And I'm going to go ahead and use a container. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new row and a call md12. And here, I'll go ahead and put the title back. And let's go ahead and save this off. And now I'll run back to the application. And now that looks a little bit more like Bootstrap is working. So if we go ahead and go back to inspect here and we look under the head, we should see a style for Bootstrap. So here it is, Bootstrap 3.3.7. So that's really all there is to getting Bootstrap into your new Angular project. I uh, hope that was easy. Uh, I have a bunch more Angular uh, focused presentations slash tutorials coming up as I am working on a Angular and Spring Boot course. 
So if you're interested in information about that or everything else that I'm working on, please check out the links below. Click that thumbs up if you like it. And please subscribe to this channel. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.